Michael, got the PCX125 here, uh, CBT ready, so you don't need to have a full license yep. for something like this. Mm -hmm. First time out on a bike, what would someone be trying to feel for or look out for when, when test riding? It's familiarity of, of, of being able to move under power and you're not pedaling. Uh, so again, familiarity mainly with throttle response. It hasn't got a great deal of power, but when you're in a town situation or your first time on this, it feels like a lot. So it's about that throttle connection, how much you can use, how much you can roll on and where you can, you can give it its all. Because it will happily cruise on a, on a, you know, a dual carriageway and you'll be perfectly safe and perfectly legal. Yeah, perfect. And, you know, if someone's uh, first sort of starting out on, on two wheels, they need to have an idea as to not only the bike, but what they should be buying to wear on, on the bike as well. So mm. what, what sort of thing would you recommend for a, a 125? All right, so to comply with UK laws, there's only two things that you must do. That's have insurance and wear a helmet. Okay. But quite frankly, uh, we're going to recommend that you, you, you've got all the gear on all the time. Now, whether it's you know, a Kevlar jeans and, and protective boots like I have, you've got a Gore-Tex trousers like you have, but certainly jackets and, and gloves. You know, make sure you've just got all the protection all of the time because you never know what might happen. It's, it's just so important to be protected. And something like this, uh, you know, whether it be nipping to the shops or whether you're, you're off to the train station for the day, what sort of practicalities are something like this for, for a new rider? A scooter is the most versatile thing. It's whether you're coming into motorcycling uh, at a young age, you just got your CBT, you want something that's going to get you around to, to school and back, to work and back. Uh, or whether you're going to your commuting, uh, you know, going to the train station, you can easily use that. Whether you can have it as a second or a third machine in your garage, you've got a big, maybe an Africa twin, and you want something to nip to the shops on. Again, brilliant because you've got a massive, great under seat storage. You can put all your shopping in there as well, and you don't have to worry about carrying it home again. It's. Uh, uh, there's even, of course, there's people who go camping. They've got the big motorhomes. You put a scooter on the back, and you can just dart around the place. It's it's incredibly easy to ride, um, and versatile too. So something like this, we've got a 28 litre under seat storage. So if we pop the seat mm. up, we can show that you can actually get a full face helmet in there. Um, let me pull that one out. So you can make sure that you've you can have that stored away when uh, when you're not riding the bike, so you haven't got to carry it around with you. Yes, yeah, ideal. We've used the example already of going to if you're commuting into a city, um, you know, you, you ride your scooter to the train station. You can pop your handbag or your briefcase under there on the way there. You get there, you take it out, you put your helmet in. Jobs are good, and of course, a lock as well would be important to put under there. It's great to have all that amount of storage. So with something like this, Michael, obviously 133 miles to the gallon. Mm. So really economical for somebody who's going to be commuting. Yeah. Um, and what are some of the other key sort of features of, of this bike from a safety perspective for somebody? Sure. Well, um, if you're riding at night, especially if you, if you are doing that commute to and from the sta train station or to work, uh, then, you know, during the winter months, it's, it's dark and when dark at night, it's got LED lights, which is ideal. So, you know, it's a really strong beam. You can be seen as well as doing the seeing. ABS, again, really important uh, and uh, comes as standard on the P6125. But I'd just say that whenever you are going to go and test a, a bike like this, it's, it's, it's like, you know, you've got to test it in the circumstances you're going to be riding it. So you know, use the roads that you're familiar with. Make sure you're comfortable with controls. It is a comfortable bike to ride, to get on. To get on actually, it's a really important piece. You know, you, you're going to be swinging your leg over this twice a day, every day. You need to make sure that it's easy to get on and off. Um, and you're familiar with the weight and, and this particular bike's got a centre stand so you know if you're if you're parking it in a in a tight little space, centre stand's ideal for that because you don't get the lean. 